All right, this is, um, all right, here's another important piece of scripture I wanted to point out. This is Proverbs um, 13, verse 2. A man shall eat well by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of the unfaithful feeds on violence. He who guards his mouth preserves his life, but he who opens his wide lips shall have destruction. So this is a perfect example. Let's say um, you were attacked really badly, and one of the first things that might come out of your your mouth is, "I'm going to die." No, don't don't say anything like that. You're not going to die. That's what. As soon as you do that, this is what it's saying. But he who opens his wide lips shall have destruction. So you have to be careful what you say because sometimes what you say will you know come to pass. So God is you know going to protect you. You know you don't don't think because you might have already said that that you're actually going to die. You're not. Um, God is a good protector. He's using these situations to build you up, to build your faith up, to make you stronger, so that you can bear more, you can take more, and declare victory over it. And instead of saying something like Oh my God, I'm going to die, you say God, you're you're good. I praise you through the good and the bad. Even though this is happening to me right now. I believe that through you I can do anything, that you're going to heal me, I am healed, I'm not going to let the situation get to me, and you just get out there and you act like you're healed, you act like nothing happened, and God will release the power into your life, you will be healed, and more, and not only, he's, he's a rewarder, you know, when, he, when you do do the right things, he's a rewarder, you know, he wants you to know that you're doing the right things, so it's, it's a beautiful thing. So just be careful what you say. And here it says Psalms 89, uh, you know, verse 34. My covenant I will not break, nor alter the word that has gone out of my lips. So if you are, are a doubter and you don't believe what God is saying, that it's not God's word that is wrong. It's you that's wrong because he's promising you I will not break my covenant I will not break what I say so that's you have to remember whenever sometimes things happen in your life and you feel so alone and so um, so lost and just you don't have any more hope and you've just given up you know you're not believing on God's words you're believing on those situations that are happening you're letting those situations get to you so that's why you're speaking like that you know don't don't let it get to you i know it's hard it's more than any human should have to bear but if if you remember to guard your lips and don't let those situations get to you and instead praise god even more praise god even harder you will overcome uh, you know, your attacks and anything that's happened to you for it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and you're saved. So, if you believe anything in your heart, you will be justified. And it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and that you're saved. So, we're saying it's with what you're saying is so important. You have to be careful, guard your mouth, always bless God and speak positive things, and go to the Bible and quote verses. You know, if you speak against those things with the Word of God, you will have victory over them. Alright, so I'd like to thank you for joining Targeted Church today. And uh, please remember, God loves you. You're going through this for a reason. Um, this don't give up. Faith is so important. Living without fear is so important. Just get out there. Live your life. I challenge you to get out there. Live your life. Do whatever you want to do. Go get that job. Go start that business. Go, uh, you know, just don't look at whatever your problems or your current circumstances are. Because if you do that, that's what the enemy wants. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna fail. Just get out there, live your life, be happy. Even if you have family members that are unbearable and have labeled you a certain way, just forgive them. Get out there and be nice to them. Grow your relationships. You know, the enemy is after our relationships. He's after our breaking us, our families apart. He's after, uh, you know, putting, making you feel alone and isolated. Don't allow any of these things to happen. You know, get out there, join a group, 
go to uh, you know a homeless shelter, go to a, a shelter or a hospital for the mentally ill, and, and help those. You know, there's so many people out there that need help. If you take the blame and the, the take looking at all what's going on wrong in your life, if you take that away and you just go help somebody else, you and focus on helping other people, you'll see how small that those problems really are. But if you don't and you just sit there and you do nothing, things are gonna go nowhere. And you'll be you'll be you'll be sitting there forever. So just I challenge you, get out, live your life, live in faith, go to the word of God, you know, just read the scripture, do whatever you need to do to get your mind off of things and believe in God and have faith in Him. So what I always like to do is at the end of each session is if you've never given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, join me in this prayer um, and change your life. You know, declare victory over your problems. The reason that this is happening to you is because you're special. That is exactly the reason that this is happening to you. You're very special. God has chosen you. He needs soldiers. And the time is running short. We don't have a lot of time left. So please, join me in this prayer. Dear Lord Jesus Christ, I give you thanks for another beautiful day that you've provided me. I thank you for my fellow brothers and sisters that you've bought to watch my videos. And I thank you for giving me the strength, the determination, the willpower, the knowledge to defeat the enemy who is making these attacks upon us. Father, in Jesus' name we come to you today and we let you know that we are sorry for any sin that we have committed against you and that you are a most gracious God for sending your one and only beloved Son onto this earth and to die for our sins. Father, we, we, we confess to you that we are not perfect and we need your Son, Jesus Christ. We make Him our Lord and our Savior. Jesus, come into my heart. Make me whole. Make me complete. Make me a new creation. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. Thank you for bearing all my sins upon your, your body. Thank you, Father in Heaven, for bringing Jesus, for resurrecting Him, and for defeating death. Thank you that we have power over death for believing through your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for your mercy. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for defeating the enemy for us. Thank you that you've done all these things, not for what we have done or who we are, but it's who you are, Father. You're an amazing, beautiful, wonderful God. We love you. We worship you today. We accept your Son, Jesus Christ, into our heart, and we ask in Jesus' name that from this day forward, that you bring nothing but good things into our lives, into our hearts, and build us up and make us into the soldiers you want us to be. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Alright, so thank you so much for joining Targeted Church. Uh, I'm going to be back on these videos. You know, the enemy brought a lot of things into my life to prevent me from doing these, but God is good. I overcame all of them, and uh, we're going to keep pushing forward. God bless you.